Hey guys, what's going on? It's Wasim here from Handsome Smiles. Thank you for joining me on another fragrance related video. Guys, today I'm going to be doing a review of a fragrance from the house of Nasomato. The fragrance I'm reviewing today is Black Afghano. Black Afghano was released in the year 2009 and is classified as an oriental woody. The nose behind this fragrance is Alexandro Gautier and I'm um, apologies for that, I believe I have butchered the name but I've given it my best shot. Now Alexandro Gautier has been behind many of the Nasumato fragrances and the concept behind Black Afghano is to arouse the effects of, uh, of hashish. Uh, to arouse the effects of hashish. Now hashish is a form of cannabis or marijuana and it's quite popular in South Asian countries, especially Afghanistan. Uh, it's also popular in Pakistan and India, but it's also, hashish is also used all throughout Europe, North America and South America. Now the concept of the fragrance is to arouse the effects of hashish and to uh, bring out the effects of temporary bliss. Now hashish, apparently when you smoke hashish, it gives you temporary bliss. Now I'm not a drug user, I've never used hashish before, but hey, that's what the concept of the fragrance is about. And for me, that's quite fascinating and quite intriguing actually. So what are the notes of Black Afghana, guys? At the top, you're gonna get cannabis and green notes. The heart of the fragrance is resins, woody notes, coffee and tobacco. And the heart uh, and the base of the fragrance, sorry, is incense and oud. So, guys, those were the notes of Black Afghano. But what do I get on my skin? For me, overall, Black Afghano is an incredibly intoxicating scent. It's uh, it has this very dark green, mossy feel about it, with a subtle bit of hint uh, hint of sweetness into the background. It's incredibly green, guys, and very very smoky. For me in the opening, I get this very damp green and very mossy grassy note. It's very very damp guys, it's not a bright green note, it's a very dark and green, mossy, slightly dirty grassy green note. As the fragrance develops, this green grassy note really, uh, really continues throughout the fragrance guys. The greenness is there from the start to the end. But into the heart of the fragrance, I pick up a subtle bit of sweetness. Now, the sweetness I pick up on my skin, I believe is coming from a rose note. Now, rose isn't actually listed as one of the main notes in this fragrance, and it isn't an official note of Black Afghano. But the, there is definitely a distinct sweetness in the scent, definitely in the background. And for me, I pick it up as being rose. As the fragrance develops, the sweetness really stays into the background. And into the dry down, this fragrance becomes incredibly smoky and you pick up a touch of oud and tobacco as well. But the greenness, the dark, damp greenness is definitely the prominent note and aspect of this fragrance. For me guys, Black Afghano is one of the most unique fragrances I've encountered so far in my fragrance journey. It's along there with Ankara Noir for being just such a unique, polarising and daring scent. Uh, for me, this fragrance is an absolute masterpiece. For a person like myself who is a fragrance enthusiast, who enjoys fragrances, enjoys the art form, how they smell, and especially how they make me feel, Black Afghano for me is a masterpiece. One of my absolute favourite fragrances. And I'm just so glad I got myself a small farm hill decant, guys. This is one of the best fragrances I've encountered. Seriously, whenever I've sprayed on Black Afghano, uh, it's just taken me on this olfactory journey and I've absolutely adored it. Now let's move over to performance, guys. Now this is where Black Afghano impressed me even more than the scent itself. This fragrance is one of the most beastliest fragrances out there, guys. This fragrance really lasts about 24 hours on your skin. If I was to give you an example of longevity and projection, projection again is beast mode. If I was to give you an example, I wore this one day on a Friday. Uh, I sprayed it at half six in the morning uh, before I go into work. And on Fridays, I tend to go to the mosque for Friday prayers. So I tend to want to wear a really good, strong fragrance on that day. I want to smell my best. So I wore black afghan at half six in the morning just before I left for work. Now, from half six until I finished my, uh, my shift at work, 
and even when I went to the uh, went to the mosque, this fragrance was projecting massively. I could smell it myself on there all day. I could constantly pick up whiffs of this fragrance, and when I came home in the evening at half five. Uh, around 11 hours after application, as soon as I opened my front door and got into my house, my brother was like, wow, what fragrance are you wearing? It smells absolutely amazing. And for me, that was quite a surprise because he was qu quite a few feet away from myself. And my little brother isn't the type of person that gives me many positive uh, compliments, if I'm being honest. And so it was a very reassuring compliment about this fragrance. It has beastly performance and very... Uh, and you're going to pick up some very positive compliments as well. In the performance department, this is one of the beastliest fragrances you're going to encounter. Now, as far as seasons go, for me, this is a fragrance which is best suited for a nighttime uh, wearing, especially during the fall and winter, guys. I believe in the colder weather, this will be brilliant, especially as, uh, as a nighttime scent. Now, as far as occasions go, uh, this one, this is where it gets a little bit tricky, guys. Uh, Due to it being quite a polarizing scent and it being very, very daring, it's not a very versatile scent in the traditional scent. Uh, in, in the traditional sense, uh, if you're being completely safe, I wouldn't really say this is a fragrance you could wear casually, or where to work, uh, or even where to a date. It's definitely very, very polarizing. But for me, for myself, as a fragrance enthusiast. As a person who just really enjoys wearing fragrances and how it makes me feel, uh, for me, Black Afghano, I'm gonna be wear, gonna be wearing it the days where I just wanna enjoy the fragrance I'm wearing. As a concept of Black Afghano, where it evokes the effects of temporary bliss, for me, I'm gonna be wearing this when I wanna feel some temporary bliss. I really feel this is a masterpiece. Uh, the fact that the concept just comes true in this fragrance. What it's trying to evoke is just fantastic in my opinion. So for me, as far as occasions go, I would wear this whenever I feel like it and when I want to uh, arouse the effects of temporary bliss. Overall rating and final rating, it's not gonna be a surprise guys. For me, it's gonna be a five out of five. This is one of the most outstanding fragrances I have encountered so far. It's the masterpiece guys. I absolutely adore the scent. Uh, what a beautiful concept to have as well and the concept was just done correctly as well Black Afghano is a masterpiece an art of fragrance guys it's art in a bottle for me Black Afghano perfect rating of 5 out of 5 guys that's the end of the review I hope you enjoyed this video if you have then make sure to give me a like and a comment below and please subscribe to my channel it really does help me out until next time my friends see you later